Well, I think we all know we can keyframe and get something to move, but how do you get that pip to move in a title? Well, let's see. Hey, John Murphy here. I'm sure my tutorials won't be as good as Malik's, but it's a standard and a high bar to aim for. So I have on the screen here a, um, a picture of a young lady, a singer, and someone asked me about, you know, can you edit and move a title? And we're going to just go here to some of my favorites, and I'll grab this one and throw it in here and drag it down so it's the same. Make it as big as the screen. So when we play this title, as you can see, it's right over the, the young lady. And that doesn't do good. So by double left clicking on the title, what you usually don't see is, at least on my screen, it always is down the page where all the elements are, your title and such. If you come all the way up to the top, the pip hit line is right here. And if you touch on it, it shows you the target at the center of where that action is going to happen. So what I have learned is find that relation between the titles. The reason being is the easiest thing to do is I'm control clicking on the two titles. I'm dragging them down. That's where I'd like them to appear. And now when I come back up here and click on the pip, if I move that to the center right where it was as best I can do it, click OK. Now when we play it, the title appears where I want it. Easy peasy. A couple lessons I've learned is one, uh, the center of that, if you have some other uh, titles uh, or graphics such as this one, if I want to replace it with this, as you can see on this one, it's off the screen. So you need to take into account, and I would have done that in the demo thing. So again here, what I'm doing, uh, move it to where the, I can see this is okay, the title's right in the middle of that. And if I move up and click on the pip, you can see it's right in the middle of it. So now let's get the pip on the screen. And this is the reverse of what I did a second ago. Move the titles to it. And now I can do it on here. You know, you can do it here. And you've got it. And so if I want to put that title somewhere else. Do it and say, you know what, I want it up here. It looks better over her shoulder. It's going to accent her a little bit. Maybe I want to keep her name down here with her. I can split it all up. And the last thing, I don't know if people know this. I'm going to do this. This wasn't part of what I was asked to demonstrate. But you're not limited. To, to these things. I can click on this, I can right click here and copy, hit control V, and now I got another title and I can put it up here and I can hit control V and do it here. So I have, uh, for my church, I've done a sponsors reel and you know there's five people sponsoring the same kind of thing, the blackjack tables at our casino night. So I can put this title in the middle, or excuse me, I would put this in the middle to say blackjack table sponsors and the highlight and then I can copy and paste this around the screen and then when you play it but you can you can copy and paste within a title I don't know if people knew that Anyway, still Murph out. Hey, a quick post video script as I was finishing the editing. Uh, one, two things. Uh, the most fun part was editing out the approximately 30 coughs. But the other thing is, the video there, uh, the, titles, the titles that you create can be saved as custom titles. So if you take the PowerDirector title and customize it to you, save it. For example, that's still Murph out. I took theirs, put the words in it, and then I saved it. So now I just drag that into the end of each of my videos. But also, in this particular case, I had to do what this very uh, request was for, is I had to move it and resize it. <coughs> Here's the cough for proof. Uh, down the bottom. Anyway, still Murph, out.